corrupt and destroy our spiritual mind in the most precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let's go. Okay. Let's go to James. I put the scripture. Let's go to James chapter 1 verse 12. Let's go. Yeah, just a sec. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Okay. Praise God. Yeah, yeah. I'll share. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, okay. So let's go to James chapter 1, verse 12. Verse 12. Okay, see this. Blessed is the man that endures temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Now, if I ask you, how are you? What will be your answer? I am blessed. Mm. Yes, I am blessed. But do we really understand the real meaning of the word blessed? We will say, I am blessed. You will say, I am anointed. But then, do we really understand the meaning of the word blessed and anointed? So what is blessed? Here the scripture says, blessed is the man. So what do you mean by this word blessed? Anybody knows? What do you mean by the word blessed? Can I say? Yeah, I know. Blessed means empowerment by God to succeed in every area of our life. Yes. So those who don't have, you can write down. Blessed means empowered or empowerment. Empowered. Blessed means empowered by God. Empowered by God to succeed in every area of our life. Now, many times we will say blessing is healing. Blessing is uh, deliverance, blessing is restoration, blessing is this, blessing is all the good things. What do you want? I, I yes? So sorry. sorry to interrupt. Can you please repeat that again? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Blessed means empowered. Empowered by God to succeed. <laughs> Empowered by God to succeed. So when you see the scripture, the scripture says that we are blessed. You know, many times we think the word blessed means uh, healing. The word blessed means deliverance. Blessed means having everything in abundance. But actually the word blessed means empowered by God. That is 
all those things good prosperity success all these things are uh, you know are a fruit of the root the root is the blessing means the empowered by god to succeed that is the root the fruit is that i am experiencing good life i have money i'm not saying that's wrong but that's the fruit of the blessing now blessing we have to understand is not my power not my ability but it is empowerment that comes from god and because this empowerment is so so um strong because it is not our power if it's going to be our power then it can fail this empowerment will not be um you know succeed succession i will not experience success but because it is god's empowerment that's why we can experience success it is not my empowerment but it is god's empowerment god's empowerment of what god's empowerment used on my behalf so you can see how much god loves us that he is not only saying i love you but he is also empowering us to succeed and to experience complete total success in every single area of our life is maybe it might be in the area of studies it can be in the area of um friends if i don't have any friends it could be in the area of any area but when i am empowered by god now i will be succeed now i will experience success in every area of my life praise god praise god and that's why god has you know god is empowering us he loves us so much he wants us to live a successful and a prosperous life on this earth i'll repeat that once again god loves us so much he wants us to live a prosperous and a successful and a total life of a uh, victory and that's why he's empowering us it is that god's empowerment that is given to us that's why we can experience success we can experience prosperity and now we are you know we are completely experiencing victory why why is there victory in this world because of the empowerment of god let's go to john chapter 10 verse 10 this card okay see this the thief commit not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy okay i am come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly this is the prosperity the success that it's talking about jesus has come to give us life life in abundance can you put compare okay the thief comes only in order to steal and to kill and to destroy i am come okay that they might have good life have and enjoy life who's that they the thief not the thief so jesus is saying i am come that the thief might have and enjoy life jesus jesus is saying this so jesus is saying they means himself oh it's saying about us us we this card yes because first we have to understand the context it is in and that's why the scripture is saying i came that day means we might have and enjoy life and have it in abundance so this is the will of god for my life to always experience success 
and prosperity. But then why can't I experience what God has for me? Because I can never experience what God has for me because I am uh, choosing what I want to choose and we want to live the way we want to live. Instead of seeing God's prosperity and God's success, we want to experience our prosperity and our success. I'll share my testimony. Now, when I was, uh, you know, before the word, when I was in my school, I was normal. I was very high. In, you know, I was the highest one. But, you know, it was normal. But it was all on my strength and my ability. Okay, I was high. I was good in studies. I was good. But it was by my strength and my ability. But then, once I came to Christ, okay, now, uh, I could see more and more, you know, success in my school, in my studies. And the success that I saw is, okay, and even today I'm seeing in my school, is that I'm, get, I'm going higher and higher and higher. And I was never like that. No, I can't boast about it saying I am the one who's successful by my own strength and by my own ability. Now, before I was successful, why? Because of what I have to do. That's why I was successful. But now I am successful, why? Because of the Holy Spirit, the ability, the empowerment of God that is strengthening me and that is helping me to experience success. And now when anybody says, I'm finding this tricky, I'm finding this hard, I can explain to them how it works, how the system works, okay, what the teacher has explained. And also I can get a chance to minister the word of God, right? Both. I can help that person, okay, showing that person how it is, and also sharing the word of God, that person. So now uh, when I experience success, I can pass on that same empowerment to God to others, right? Yes, when I am empowered by God, I can pass that same empowerment to others. Am I correct? Yes, when I am experiencing the empowerment and the, you know, and the, you know, that power of God, that divine power, when I'm experiencing the divine power, no, I can pass the same divine power to others that they can also experience that same empowerment and their lives are completely transformed. So I can not only uh, share to them uh, what, you know, how to, you know, how to, how to be, how, how this works, how the, you know, the lesson works, but also I can explain to them the word. Now, when they understand the word, they also can experience the empowerment of God. Yes. Yes, and this has happened many times where uh, most of the time, you know, it comes in this area where I get an opportunity where there is someone, someone, one person who comes and says, I'm finding this difficult, I'm finding this hard. And, and, and that's when the best uh, opportunity I get to spend the word. I'm talking about my life. And that's the same even with you. Okay, if you're wanting to share uh, you know, you want to share the word. You really want to, you want your friends and your family to be saved. You want your relatives to be saved. First, you show them the empowerment of God. You live in the empowerment of God. You live in the love of God. When they see your life, now they will come to you. And especially with your family members. You know why? Because the family members know exactly how you have lived. They are with you all the time. And they know the life you have lived. So if you go to tell them something about the word, they will not accept if they don't believe in Christ. Maybe if they believe in Christ, they will surely accept. That's what happened to me. Okay, my mother, my mother and my father believed in Christ Jesus. And that's why I could get a chance every evening to teach and preach to them. But if, if example, because there will be, uh, you, you will fall in those conditions where um, you, you know, how, how can you uh, preach the gospel? They're not ready to accept. 
because they know the life you have lived. So what you should do, show them the empowerment of God. Show them how much God loves you. When you show them the love of God, when you show them the empowerment of God, now they are changed and now they are transformed and now they want to come back to the Lord. And now when you go and teach, they will surely accept. And that's called blessing and empowerment by God to succeed. Hallelujah. And, and, and you know, this empowerment by God will not be physically. Okay, we'll see more about this empowerment by God. Put uh, Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6 verse 38, 38. It's the second last verse. Yeah. Okay. Praise God. Okay. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. Shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be with all, it shall be that measure to you again. Now here it says, give and it shall be given unto you. This is a very big uh, key and a big process for empowerment from God. So good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Shall God give unto your bosom or shall man give unto your bosom? God or man? How many of you believe that it is man? Raise your hand on the system. Only one person believes. So others think that it is God, right? Praise God. What does the scripture say? Does the scripture say, shall men give unto your bosom or shall God give unto your bosom? Men. And please understand, God will not come down physically and show you the empowerment and he will not come down physically. Right? But, you know, he will put people in your life. That's why if a person is not ready to connect to people, okay, when a person is so depressed, when a person is in depression, he does not want to connect to people. If that is the case, that means, uh, you know, if he's not going to connect to people, he can never see the blessing of God. Because God will not come down physically and show you. Because a person who's in depression is saying, Lord, Please answer my prayer. Please. But he is not understanding that God will not come down and solve your problem. But it will be it will be people in your life that will be solving your problem. You know, in my life, to start my teaching and to start my ministry, I never, you know, I never tried and I never started with my own strength. God put people in my life that was, you know, uh, shyly. Okay. She came in my life and it was her, you know, who, you know, who God put in my life, how I could start my ministry. And, and, and that's the same way. God will not come and down and solve your problem. God will not come down and solve the situation. But God will put people in your life to solve the situation. So if you're saying you're empowered by God, that, you know, empowerment from God does not mean God will come down and empower you. Don't understand me wrong, okay? God will empower you through people. He will send laborers into your life. He will send people into your life. And, you know, you, and, you, know, you will miraculously be success, successful. God has put laborers in our life. That is Papa and Sister Jocelyn, Papa Johnson. Here, God has put laborers in our life. And, and, and that's the same way. Why? Because God wants to empower us. If he wants to empower us, it is only through people. Yes? So empowerment of God does not mean you will see God. God will come down. You will touch him and he will empower you. And he will be with you for three days, giving you the, all the power. And then he will go back. And again, he will come, go back. Again, he will come, go back. No, 
he is there with you he will be in you for the you know uh, you know until the last breath of your life god is in you your spirit and god's spirit has become one and now when i'm cho choosing to give when i'm choosing to give to others that's when when i give unto others now men shall come and give unto my bosom it's very simple if you are going to give you know because of the glory of god how much god has blessed you if you have two pencils and you are going to give one pencil to your friend god will give you 10 pencils back but if you have that giving heart now it is men that will give it to you back and when i say god will give you 10 pencils back means you know somebody will come and say these pencils are yours take them right yes and it's called blessing blessing is an empowerment by god to succeed not to fail to succeed this god did you understand raise your hand if you if you understood okay only two of you understand what about the rest jeremiah nathan daniel prishan son shaili okay press card yeah thank you jesus now when you say okay shaili saying she did not understand which part did you not understand oh you understood okay okay press card yeah okay thank you jesus so yeah so you were saying blessing is empowerment by god to succeed now always remember our faith okay we say we have faith in god jesus said have faith in god put that mark 11:22 you know can you put mark 11:22 Okay. Are you there, Enoch? Mark. Okay, I'll put the scripture. Yeah, Mark. Eleven. Twenty-two. Okay, and Jesus answering said unto them, "Have faith in God." You know why Jesus is saying you yeah, have faith in God. Now Jesus cast the fig tree, right? Yes, and because he cast the fig tree, now the disciples were started to think that Jesus is having lot of power. He is very very good, and he, you know, if he, when he speaks to anything, it will happen. They are right, but Jesus is trying to explain them another point of the kingdom of heaven that I don't only it's it's not because. Uh, i am powerful but it is because of my faith and this same faith you also have that is you can also have faith in god if you have faith in god you can speak not only to a fig tree but to a big mountain this is what he is continuing to say in the 23rd verse for verily i say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain yeah press card yes and and that's why the scripture says have faith in god means have the faith of god and he's telling us uh, when you have faith in god you know now you can see whatever you know you can see uh, the same results which i saw when i spoke to the fig tree it was dead from the root if you speak to the mountain it has no more power it is cast out the same power that was in jesus is in us now god had empowered jesus okay and when he spoke the word he saw result yes in the same way god has empowered us when we speak the word can we also see result yes when i'm going to speak the word when i open my mouth and i'm speaking god's word that's when i can see you know results which i never expected to see results which are unbelievable for me unimaginable unexpected something that i never knew how my life would be 
one day i would not you know at that time one day i would have not known that i would be preaching on on you know i would have my own bible study and teaching with the, by the power of the holy spirit i never knew that right but see you know that, that's why i'm giving you my example for you to understand you know now when i see it now i realize how much success god has brought in my life now when i see my past life where i was and where i am now i realize how much god has made me successful and it is not ended it will continue even for you you know because you have come to the high level don't limit god saying okay god made me successful god is still going to make you successful until the last breath of your life you will be promoted and promoted and promoted you will be uh, having you know you will be uh, you know you will experience things that you never even experienced before in your lifetime praise god and that's the empowerment of god because if i am trying to be successful with my own strength i can never be successful and i can never be prosperous if i'm trying to be prosperous by my own strength if i'm trying to be successful by my own strength it is never ever possible to be empowered by god to be successful it is the empowerment of god not me praise god thank you jesus praise you jesus but also remember when i say empowerment of god the empowerment of god is in his word because somebody is asking me is god making you successful because you know we have studied this joshua 1:8 it says you will make your way prosperous and successful that means the you know what that scripture is saying please don't misunderstand the 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 success is already in the word of god okay please don't misunderstand okay the success the success is already in the word of god it is and that's why it is not our success it is god's success and this success is already in the word of god okay now to experience this success physically the scripture is saying it is not god who will show you this success physically he has already given you success in his word now when i'm doing those three things meditating the word of god speaking the word of god and applying then i can see the success that is in the word of god manifest in my life praise god uh, i i I'm, i'm trying to say that the success is not ours the success is not ours it is god's divine power and it is his success this success of god is already in his word okay now when i'm studying the word speaking the word and applying the word meditating speaking applying that's when the success which is in the word will manifest in my life and that's what i mean by empowered by god to succeed okay press god the person got the answer thank you jesus yeah okay did you understand yes yes any questions any doubts Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Did any? Okay, so we can close this session. Praise God. Yeah. So does anybody want to do the ending prayer? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Alistair. Yeah. Um, I think Ellie. Um, the. I can't yeah. pronounce the first name, but Ellie Zira. I think. I'm not yeah. Sure. Yes. I think yeah. she raised her hand for the prayer. I think. Oh yeah, I did not see. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sorry for that. Yeah, Ellie Zira. Yeah.
we want to be preaching the word. So Lord, let us be blessed and have faith in you. Let the whole world be known that you are here and that you are the one and only God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us. It is your word that is teaching us. It is you, Holy, oh, Holy Spirit, who's teaching us in a very simple, very easy way. Thank you, Lord, for making this teaching extremely simple and easy. And as we are going to school, Lord, we are protected, we are blessed, we are anointed. Your blood is flowing through our lives. And Lord, we are completely set free from every virus, every sickness, and every disease because we are protected by your blood. Thank you, Lord. You love us. Your love never ends. And Lord, you continue to teach us through every example in a very practical way all throughout the day, Lord. You teach us and reveal us. Thank you and praise you, Lord, for this blessing, for this opportunity you have given us, this privilege you have given us to study your word. And Lord, it was completely your anointing that was filling this place. And Lord, it was your your it was your presence that was filling and helping us to study the word. And it is this presence that is in us, protecting us. And wherever we go, we are protected by your blood. Your angels are charged over us. In Jesus' name we pray, Father. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so we can pray in tongues. Una na 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 karabashi karabakaramo. Ne da 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 da. 